Okay, so first we are going to use the algebra tiles to simplify this expression here, x plus x plus x. So I'm going to take three of my x tiles, because we have got three of them added together. And you can see that we have got three, so we can write that as 3x. And next we're going to do a similar thing with this expression, x plus x plus 2. So we'll do exactly what it says, have 1x and another x. And this time we're going to have two of these units. So we can see now that this, we can rewrite this as 2x plus 2 units or 2. And now we've got um, a mixture of letters and numbers. So exactly the same though. We're going to have an X. We're going to have two units, two ones. We're then going to have two X. And we're going to have five ones. So we can use the copy function to increase those. So if we're collecting them up, uh, to simplify the expression, we'll put all the ones together, all the green ones together, and you can see that we have 3x plus 7. So now we've got an x plus y plus 2x plus y, so we've introduced a y as well, another variable. So what we can do is click on the variables pull down to show 2. Uh, so now it shows we've got an x and a y. It doesn't have to be an x and a y. It could represent whatever we want it to, but in this case, it will. So now I've got an x. I've got a y, which is a different size from x. I've got two more x's and another y. So when I collect these up together, we can see that we have 3x plus 2y. In this question, we have got our first uh, negative number. So the x is still exactly the same, but this time what we're doing is taking away 5, or that's the same thing as adding negative 5. So these um, tiles on the right-hand side, the red ones, they are all the negative ones. So in this case, I'm going to add negative 5. Uh, and that represents x minus 5. We can't simplify it in any way, but I just wanted to uh, show what it looks like with the algebra tiles. And now we've got a negative x. So we'll do this exactly the same way. We are adding three x's, and then we're adding a negative x, which is one of these. And when we have a positive something and a negative something, they the somethings cancel each other out. So what you can do with these tiles is put one on top of the other and you will see it disappears. So our answer is 2x, which is what you'd expect if you had three of something and took one of them away. So this one has got another negative in it. We're going to just replicate what it says here. So 2x and then we're adding four negative x's. So if I get four of these, um, and like we did before, because a positive and a negative cancel one another out, we can plop that on there, plop that on there, and we can see we're left with two negative x's. So the answer is minus 2x. This time we have got a mixture of things. So I'll bring my 2x over, my 2y. I'm adding a negative x, so I'll grab one of these red ones, and then positive 3. So, oops, 3 units here. I'll copy those three times. So now, with these, I can plop my red one on my green one to cancel out, and we're left with x plus 2y plus 3. And finally, we have got a mixture of x's and y's, so 2x, and we've got 2y's, 
and we're going to add three negative x's so there we go one two could use the copy function actually three and two negative y's oops that's a positive one um, And as we know, a positive and a negative of the same thing cancel each other out. So I'll put that on there, that one on there, that one on there, that one on there. And we're left with one negative x, so minus one negative x.